today, the San Francisco 49ers and the Chicago Bears fight to a thrilling finish. Five games into the 2001 season, something special was happening at Soldier Field. After losing the league opener, the Bears had won four straight. Rookie running back Anthony Thomas and second-year linebacker Brian Erlacher had Chicago fans thinking playoffs. But when the 4-1 San Francisco 49ers came to town, that was the big test. It was still early in the season, but it was a chance for this young Bears team to prove it could soldier on. For decades, the Chicago Bears have been a towering feature of the NFL landscape. But when the 2001 season began, the once proud Bears were floundering. Chicago had not seen a winning team take Soldier Field for five years. But they finally had a solid foundation in place and they were beginning to build a winner. Young stars like running back Anthony Thomas were starting to dream about postseason games under dreary winter skies of the Windy City. In contrast, the sun usually shone on their opponent, the San Francisco 49ers. They were the upper class of the National Football League a team that had grown accustomed to finishing every season in the same place. Although San Francisco had recently suffered through a brief playoff drought, they remained cool and aloof. Six weeks into the 2001 season, they were back where they belonged. Their high-flying passing offense had lifted them to one of the best records in the league and 49ers fans were expecting another San Francisco air show. You got your popcorn ready? Hey, ready? Huh? I'm ready to see the show, baby. I'm going to play this we game for free. I'm going to play this game for free. Come on, baby. Get up, baby. Go. Late October of 2001, two very different teams met at Soldier Field in Chicago. They had identical 4-1 records, but the 49ers had the youngest starting defense in the league. They were winning with a devastating passing game and reliable special teams. I ain't got here with a, I ain't leaving this place without a victory. I ain't leaving this place without a victory. I got to have a victory. I need everybody. I need everybody to get a play today. That is on three. One, two, three. The Bears were the perfect antagonists for the pass-happy 49ers. Their strength lay in their hard-hitting defense. It's time to go to war, baby. Playmakers make plays, baby. Where you at, playmaker? Chicago's defense had made plays all season, and they were the savage heart of this team. Led by linebacker Brian Erlacher, the Bears had given up just 43 points in their first five games. But their newfound success couldn't be attributed to Brian Erlacher or any other single player. On the NFL battlefields, the Chicago Bears played like brothers at war. Discover the greatest games in NFL history. Brett Favre's first comeback.
Montez kicks off, and it's very, very short. One of his shortest is the year, and it's taken by Johnson on the far side of the field. And he runs upfield very, very well, all the way out to the 38-yard line. Bears quarterback Jim Miller tried to get a fast start against the 49ers defense to establish Chicago's passing game early. Look at the Des White. Gets open and runs up the left sideline for the first down grab. 15-yard pickup to the 47th. But after the first play, Miller started misfiring, and the Bears' drive went nowhere. Throws down the left sideline and way over the head of David Terrell. So the Bears will punch for the first time today. Linebacker Brian Erlacher and the Chicago defense have yet to face an offense as efficient as San Francisco's. Quarterback Jeff Garcia would prove to be a good challenge for a developing defense. Garcia quickly got the upper hand. Completed his first five pass attempts, and each of the 49ers' first seven plays went for five yards or more. Nothing the Bears did slowed San Francisco's inevitable march downfield. It looked like the game plan devised by 49ers head coach Steve Mariucci was working. But Chicago's front seven kept the pressure on. First, Garcia was unfazed, and the drive continued. But as San Francisco got closer to the end zone, the Bears' persistence would finally pay off. Being clutched, runs up, being chased by Brian Robinson, throwing on a run out of bounds. The Bears' defense holds the 49er. All right, do you have anything underneath? Rookie place kicker Jose Cortez is perfect on the year, 11 of 11, but he's never kicked in the swirling winds of Soldier Field. Get it up! Good snap spot. Oh, that kick is blocked and it's not going anywhere. Somebody got a piece of it, and it's low and underneath the goal pole, so no points come out of that. While the Bears' special team celebrated, the 49ers were trying to figure out what had gone wrong. It's either it either came between our left guard and left tackle or the center and the and the right guard. I'm not sure. We got a little penetration both sides. So just just step down inside there, get your shoulder inside. Now sit a little bit lower, okay? Sit a little bit. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. All right. Come on, man. Let's go. Good poise, man. Let's get points now. The first points of the game would come from an unlikely source. Can you believe the get-off? Bryant Young was in the backfield before the handoff could even be made. Jim Miller didn't know what hit him. JB! Nice job, man. Hey, I told you I feel good today. I had that week off. It's time to play. Yeah, you know, go. Inspired by Peterson's touchdown, the 49ers defense kept coming at quarterback Jim Miller. Under the gun, the Bears' offense continued to make mistakes. Miller throws across the middle, and the ball is just plain dropped by Des White. Miller was suddenly having trouble completing even a single pass. Now Chip Miller was completing almost 69% of his passes coming into this game. He's one of six right now. The Bears turned to their playmaker on offense, the A-Train, rookie running back Anthony Thomas. He had some early success, but with the passing game stifled, the Bears were again forced to punt. The 49ers passing game was already established. So San Francisco gave the ball to their running backs, Garrison Hurst and number 32, Kevin Barlow. Wide receiver. 
receiver Terrell Owens also helped sustain the drive. He had four catches for 33 yards in the first quarter. San Francisco's doing so well on first down. They're given so many options on second down, and it's just a little bit of pitch and catch between Garcia and Terrell Owens. Just too easy right now. The 49ers offense was hitting on all cylinders. Even against the tough Bears defense, they were dictating the matchups they wanted and getting the results they were looking for. Way down the left sideline, caught by Hurst! Oh, what a perfect pass and catch down to the eight yard. Matched up one-on-one -on -one with Erlocker. We've heard what great skills that guy has with tremendous speed. Well, that time, the guy had a little bit more speed than him. The pass, though, could not have been any better. It was brilliant. An interesting situation for the Bears. Now their backs firmly up against the wall here. Get him hey, out of there. Gee! Get him out of there, Tom, will you? I don't want him wrestling with those big guys. They're a little bigger than he is. Nice job. nice job. Don't fart around with those guys, huh? Shift to strong right. Pass 96, Z cross Dolphin. Play action fake. Garcia looking to throw again. Into the end zone. Caught by Swift for the touchdown. I tell you, the 49ers came in here with a hell of a game plan, guys. You've got Brian Robinson covering the tight end on a goal line defense. The Niners know exactly what they want to do, and they are executing it to perfection. Nice job, team man. Nice ball. Nice ball. That's what we're gonna try. That's smart. Don't let up. Don't let up. Don't let up. Yeah, you keep kicking ass. One thing I'm very certain of with the Chicago team here, Gary, is they are not going to be a good come from behind team. That's exactly right. They've only had to come from behind once, and they're not real used to it, and not real good at it. Hey! No letting up, baby! Keep pounding! Keep pounding! Nice job, man. Nice job. When it comes to going ball, you now have a choice. As the second quarter began in Chicago, the Bears' offense was still struggling. Quarterback Jim Miller was ineffective. So San Francisco concentrated on stopping running back Anthony Thomas. And once again, the Bears had to punt. It would be up to Chicago's defense to keep this game from becoming a rout. Let's go, let's get off the Do our job, do our job. They did their job. The 49ers had pushed them around in the first quarter. It was the Bears' turn to push back. He runs to his right, sprints as a matter of fact. Erlacher comes up, slows him down, then Newkirk finishes him off. So San Francisco got absolutely no place for the first time today on the series, and will have to punt after three and out. Jason Baker with a snap, and he sends up a rocket. Oh, let's go! Let's go! McCorder is going to settle under it at the 36-yard line. Starts right now on his left, and there's room to go. Met by a bunch of 49ers, and he's dropped right there. With the support of the Soldier Field faithful, Jim Miller finally stood up to the pressure and began to connect on his passes. by Marty. Seven here is so huge. Your defense has had their first three and out, your first big play on offense. You stick this ball in the end zone, you got a football game again. Miller's accuracy had returned suddenly. Just as suddenly, it was gone again. Miller wants to throw. He throws for the end zone and too deep for David Terrell in the left corner. That should have been a score. It was thrown much too high. Miller tries to fade the other way. Intercepted! Oh! 
He was going to Marty Booker, but underthrew it, and it's the 49ers who come up big again. Plummer, his third interception of the year. Once again, Chicago's aggressive defense needed to make up for their problems on offense. If they couldn't stop 49ers quarterback Jeff Garcia, he could put this game out of reach before halftime. Garcia is 9 of 9 for 91 yards on first down here. And a pass from Garcia is picked. Orlacher has an interception and brings it back to the 47 yard line. Garcia kept his focus on Terrell Owens and never noticed Erlacher in perfect position to pounce. Barlow had to make the tackle, but Erlacher has the interception. Erlacher's interception gave the Bears a much needed lift. The offense began the ensuing drive with four straight Anthony Thomas runs for positive yardage. However, one play would once again bring Chicago's momentum to a sudden halt. Miller is hit as he throws. That was a shot right there. And Miller's hurt. It's called a seal go blitz right there where they have two linebackers coming from the same side. There was nobody there to block Smith, and he just buried, buried the quarterback helmet right in the chest. Miller left with a bruised tip and did not return. Backup quarterback Shane Matthews was thrust into a tough situation. It's third and eight at the 35-yard line, an important play here for Chicago. The loss of their starting quarterback would have buried most teams. But the Bears had already suffered a lot in this game, and they weren't ready to give up yet. They fake the draw to quick throw to Des White. Skirts up the third. No. The five, 20, the near foot race. But wait a minute. You might There's have a flag on the play. Walking downfield by the Chicago Bears. Nolan Cruz gets called for the penalty. Yeah, they get wow. so excited about coming out there and picking off one of those little DBs that they get downfield too quickly. It was only about a yard over the line of scrimmage. That's a close one. So a 35-yard beautiful touchdown. Boy, is canceled. That just rips your heart out. And I did it where nothing is going right. Less than four minutes remaining in the first half, the Bears were in a difficult position. Their opponent had the ball and a 14-point lead. Chicago needed to come up with another stop if they wanted any chance of scoring before halftime. The 49ers went away from their passing game, content to try to grind out the rest of the half on the ground. The defense did their part. They stopped running back Garrison Hurst and forced San Francisco to attempt another punt. Bottom line, Bears defense has given up seven points. They've got to get some help from the offense. The Niners will get the ball to start the second half. Great to get some points out of this last two-minute drive. So it's punt time for San Francisco. Oh, and he goes right through his hands and out of the end zone. Oh, my goodness, it goes over the head of the punter, Baker. And the 49ers will be charged with a safety. On a strange day, strange things continue to happen. 14 to 2, and the Bears will get the ball. was a better outcome than they could have hoped for. The surprises kept coming for the Bears when backup running back James Allen started carrying the ball. He 
Cuts inside. He moves downfield, and he's inside the five, and he's down to the three-yard line. Blake Brockermeyer, the offensive tackle, pulled on that play. He came around the corner, just drove the DB back. He also drove him back into uh, one of the safeties. It was a corner into the safety, taking out two guys. An excellent block. Well, the Bears could be back into this thing big time in a moment. First and goal. Ball just outside the three. Come on, Shane! Play action fake. Matthews looking. Shane's got it for the touchdown! And the Bears have closed the gap on the 49ers. How in the world do you hang tough? Well, you know, after with everything that's happened to the Bears here in the first half. How about two unlikely guys making big plays? Shane Matthews and James Allen. Seven plays, 54 yards in 54 seconds. In the first half, the Bears made mistakes, missed opportunities, and lost their starting quarterback. But Chicago's perseverance had kept them in the game, and they could still hold out hope for victory. And it's 14 to 9. San Francisco with the lead on the Chicago Bears. Just a tremendous swing of emotion uh, and momentum in this game. That's the way to finish a half. Come out with a defensive stop. You're in this ball game. Coming up tonight on NFL Total Access, Brett Favre, watch. The 49ers started the second half on offense. The Bears started with a fiery desire to stop them. The hit squad picked up where they left off in the first half, pounding on 49ers quarterback Jeff Garcia. But Garcia was not intimidated. Jeff's got lots of time. He throws way down the right sideline. Hurst has it. Space of a minute 36 seconds. San Francisco has opened the lead up to 21 to 9. Turn it into a receiver. Hey. Nice job, man. Hey, go. Hey, one time. time man. Hey, one time, baby. That's all it takes. Nice job. Way to execute. All right. Let's go, man. Come on up, man. Let's go. But quarterback Shane Matthews had yet to miss on a single pass. Chicago's offense quickly drove into scoring position. Hey! Shane hey, Matthews doing a great job. So the Bears uh, trailing 21 to 9, but uh, prepared to get right back into it again. Matthews picked a bad time to throw his first incomplete pass of the game. Picked off by Bronson. Bronson down the left sideline. How about that? Zach Bronson, 98 yards for the interception, and why not? Just about everything else has gone badly today. Good job, D. Good job, D. Hey, good job. Good job. Good job. Cool, baby. I'm cool. Let's go back to work, baby. Let's go back to work. Let's go. Let's go. Keep the heat on. All season, the Bears have proven they can stand whatever kind of heat they face. Running back Anthony Thomas never backed away from the fire. Thomas, the running back, takes the handoff, goes up the middle, breaks a tackle, gets to the outside, and crosses the 45 to the 46, where Bronson makes the tackle, but it's a first down run on a nice play of 12 yards to his left. Thomas lifted the Bears on his shoulders and just kept running. kept going no matter how hard the 49ers hit him. <laughs> the toughness of Anthony Thomas once again propelled the Bears deep into San Francisco territory and helped restore their confidence. On fourth down, the Bears went for it without hesitation. 
throws. It is caught at the 18-yard line. A nice leaping catch by Baxter. And the ball was thrown high, and he held on to it. They get to the 19-yard line, first and 10. On the next play, Chicago once again got on the A-train. Gets some running room. He's to the 10. Thomas to the 5. To the end zone. A-train with another touchdown. I'm telling you guys, this is not over yet. Like a locomotive, 19 yards. Anthony Thomas. And the Bears are back on the board. Good job up front. Just hang in there together, man. Oh, yeah, Just hang in there together. As the Bears' fortunes were rising, San Francisco's defense was left wondering what had gone wrong. Who were you? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll call it. Come on. It was Eagle Sting. We won that guy was on. I came, I came in off. You don't have a free player. Okay. There's nobody free like so someone special. might get like that. I can stay ass inside so, I didn't. You did. Heck okay. no, I didn't. Just I didn't even rip it. Shut it down. Look. You did. No, he, the ball, we know where the ball's going. Uh, Somebody can help me at least. No, try to give me some help. This one he went back knows. under. Pick this me. One when the fullback shuffles the way he's shuffling, that's where the ball's going. <laughs> Dumbasses. Insecurity was contagious. While their defense tried to keep their composure, the early confidence of the 49ers' offense was also slipping away. It's a pitch to Barlow. Barlow doesn't seem to have anything around the left side and fights his way for just a couple of yards. The 49ers need some kind of uh, possession on this drive. Eight and a half minutes for Chicago in terms of time of possession in the third quarter. Only a minute and a half for the 49ers. But the Bears had no intention of letting them hold on to the ball. Here come the Bears. He's got time to throw, and he fumbles the ball! Ball, ball, ball! The ball is laying there at the 40. Wow, what a big play that could have been. Deese was able to run up and get the ball at the 42-yard line. Shane Matthews had his chances, but Chicago's offense still couldn't take control of the game to mount a comeback. The quick throw, shelf incomplete. Shane just let him a little bit too far. This game was still wide open. A single miscue could have determined the outcome. Every inch of field position was critical. It's a wobbly low kick that takes a great bounce. Hits at the 30, then the 20, then inside the 10. Down to around the seven yard line. Touchdown by Jerry Azuma. He gets a big break. That was they not got a pretty break. Fun. As the third quarter ended, the 49ers held a big lead. But both teams knew that this game was far from finished. It was. The San Francisco 49ers understood the importance of the first drive of the fourth quarter. If they got a touchdown, they would go ahead by three scores. But if they only managed a field goal, Chicago's prospects for a comeback would still be alive. The 49ers were winning the battle. They drove deep into Bears territory. More importantly, the drive drained more than seven minutes off the clock. It looked like the 49ers offense was just too much for the Bears to handle. Chicago had enjoyed a good start to the 2001 season, but maybe they just weren't ready to compete with the real contenders. clock kept ticking, and it appeared that nothing could stop San Francisco's drive to the end zone. Shut the door! But Chicago took a gamble, mixing up their defensive fronts. It worked. Finally, they were able to stop the drive. 
the 49ers had to settle for another field goal attempt. He was going for Terrell Owens down the middle, and it's incomplete in fourth down with 7.52 on the clock. Very big field goal. It's out for Cortez here. Here's the snap. There's the kick. It is up. It is good. 15 points. Two touchdowns and a two-point conversion in less than seven and a half minutes in the face of the 49ers' young defense. The Chicago Bears needed to accomplish all of this with their backup quarterback and with an offense built around the run. There have been less likely comebacks in NFL history, but not many. San Francisco was not expecting the run. But the Bears kept the ball in the hands of running back Anthony Thomas. And another Chicago gamble paid off. And gives it underneath on a handoff to Thomas. Cuts to his left, breaks downfield, gets all the way down to the 13-yard line. I think that's 24 carries for about 120 yards on the day for Thomas. When the Niners finally concentrated on stopping Thomas, Shane Matthews took a shot at the end zone. Has time, into the end zone, Terrell has got it for the touchdown! Oh, on a laser pass, and I didn't think Terrell could hang on to it. It was thrown very hard, and he had his hands extended to catch the ball. It is a touchdown pass of 14 yards. Yeah, that was just a great uh, throw and catch right there. He threaded it between a couple of 49er defenders, the safeties back there talking, uh, Lance Schultz and, and Zach Bronson about uh, who should have been there. The extra point is up and good. And now with 408 to go, it's an eight-point lead for San Francisco. Let's finish this game right now. Defense has to get back on the field. I would not onside kick this football. There you go. 408 to play. Nenger will not. They decide to kick it. And it isn't all that deep. In fact, being taken at the 15-yard line and brought back by Cedric Wilson. Wilson just goes down at the 25. One point in the third quarter. It was 28-9 San Francisco. The Bears have outscored them 14-3. They pull themselves back into contention. 31-23, but they got to shut them down right here. The crowd is really into it now. They know that their team has a chance. San Francisco has to face a lot of pressure in this opportunity. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. Second and six at the 18 yard line. They turn, fake the handoff. Garcia rolling to his right. Now steps up, looking for somewhere to go. Oh, runs it down. Oh, 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 oh. San Francisco desperately needs a first down here to prevent the Bears from having time to tie this thing up. Crowd on its feet making noise. 318 to play. Jeff Garcia has killed the Bears on third down all day. He's back to pass again. Field, has it, tries to go for the first down, doesn't make it. 
stopped at the 22-yard line, and now Chicago will use another timeout with 2.58 to go. And now Chicago has a chance. If you plan on building, furnishing, or remodeling your home, or you're just tired of paying retail, don't spend another dollar. Now, you can... The 49ers punted, leaving the Chicago Bears less than three minutes to score eight points. Kick is away. It's very, very good. Porters is back at the 30-yard line. Starts ahead to his right, and he has dropped hard. 2.46 to go, and now Chicago has a chance. First and 10 at the 33-yard line for the Bears. Again, the handoff, Anthony Thomas. Big hole up the middle, 40, 45. Francisco, 2.24 to play. Bears have one timeout. They have never led in the football game. And several times it looked like they were all but done. Blitz coming. Quick throw complete to Des White. Same play. Brought down quickly. It's 31-23. Two minutes to play. First and 10 at the San Francisco 25. Walk right to see half mode. Shane Matthews 20 for 25 at this point. Looking left, coming right instead. Gathered in by Baxter. First, First down. down. First down. First down. 108 to play. Bears down eight. Need a touchdown right here. A train to the 10. It's all clogged up. San Francisco covers it well. Fantastic job out there. Now, McCullough is not very big. It was a huge offensive lineman coming out, just kind of strung it out and allowed the pursuit to come from the inside. So they need at least the first down before the game's over. Fourth and three. Game riding on this. Matthew, seven of seven on this drive. Anthony Thomas in the backfield. Shane to throw. Has time. Completes the pass. seconds. Not a lot of time for Matthews to get the ball into the end zone. 33 seconds were all the Chicago Bears had to show the NFL what they were capable of. Matthews running to his left side, looking into the end zone. Throws! for the rookie, his second today. All right, Bears have the touchdown, but they still need one more three-yard play that has to be successful. Get up and line up for two, guys. Who thought about 20 minutes ago that we were going to be sitting here a two-point try away with 26 seconds on the clock?
Steve Mariucci argued that Thomas was down before he scored, but the replay upheld the call on the field. The game was tied. The Bears were just seconds away from an unbelievable overtime. Edinger now to kick it away. And he gets his leg into it. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And Cedric Wilson takes it at the 11. And he doesn't get very far. Good coverage on the play by Johnson, making the tackle on him at the 26-yard line. are going to settle for overtime. They're going to take the kneel down right now. Get off the ball, baby. All we need is one drive. We'll take it. Hey, they can't stop us now. We're on a roll now. Let's go. Let's finish this. We direct your attention to Matt Fields and his choice is I'll tell you guys, Brant Young almost got a hernia celebrating that coin toss. Did you see that arm going? Everybody, get, hey, play with your hands. Get off their ass. Don't make a play, baby. Let's go. Hit squad on three, baby. One, two, three. Hit squad. Let's go. In 2001, no one understood the pressures of overtime better than the San Francisco 49ers. This was their sixth game of the season but it was already the third time they were playing an extra quarter. But nothing could have prepared them for their first play from scrimmage. In the backfield, Beasley in motion. Short set, quick throw, slant. Oh, oh he's going to be here. Oh. Stop it up for Owens. Mike Brown's got it. He's going in. 15. He's to the 10. Come from behind win over the 49ers set the tone for the rest of the Chicago Bears 2001 season. They became the team that wouldn't quit. Thanks to the heroics of safety Mike Brown and all of the other Chicago soldiers, the Bears won the NFC Central Division for the first time since 1990. The following week against the Cleveland Browns, the Bears' Mike Brown did it again. For the second week in a row, he returned an interception for a touchdown in overtime, becoming the first player in NFL history to do so in consecutive games. An unlikely hero setting an unlikely record in what became an unlikely success story. The Bears jump from worst to first in the NFC Central.